You got to remember, Job went through literal hell for about a year. And you think your situation is bad. You don't have balls from your head, from your head to your foot. You're not sitting in the ash heap, scraping yourself with a, with a, with a, with a pot shear. You haven't lost your family. You haven't lost your home. You have, Job was the richest man in the East. And now he was the poorest man in the East. And the devil was taunting him. His friends were taunting him. So please don't get so hard on Job. But God is letting us know that I am bigger than your mountain. I can open every door. And the way I do it is by faith. Somebody shout faith. The way I open doors is by faith. I heard a song years ago. It says, prayer is the key, but faith unlocks the door. You can pray all day, but brother, sister, if you don't have the faith to believe that God will do it, it will not get done. You say, how much faith do I need? The Lord say, as, he didn't say like, he said, as a grain of mustard seed. And going back to farm life, a mustard seed is very, very small. God just needs something to work with. We have to give him something to work with. As long as we're complaining and moaning and we're letting out the, the doubt out of our mouth and it's in our heart, you can't do it, God. You, I know you can't do it, God. It won't happen, God. Of course it won't happen. The Lord has said, be it unto you as you believe. So when you don't get nothing, don't blame God. God needs something to work with. He needs faith. Faith that is anchored in the cross. Faith that will say, come hell or high water, I'm going on with Jesus. Come devils or demons, I'm still going to believe God. When they talked about me, when they lied on me, when they falsely accused me, I'm still going on with Jesus Christ. Because greater is he that's in us than he that is in the world. You are never in the minority as a Christian. With Jesus, you always in the majority. Always. Praise the Lord. This little light of mine, this light, I'm going to let it shine. It didn't say Jesus is going to let it shine. It said I'm going to let it shine. When you're facing your problems and your woes and your difficulties and everything that could go wrong, seem like it has go wrong, gone wrong, instead of you frowning up like a lemon, you still are going to believe God. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. And then he goes on the song to say, everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go. When they're cussing around me, God, I'm going to let this light shine. Hallelujah. When they're talking about you and they're, and they're saying everything wrong, I'm still going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And then I like this verse. I learned it about five years ago. I won't let the devil blow it out. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to let it shine. I won't let the devil blow it out. I'm going to let it shine. I won't let the devil blow it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No matter what the devil sent my way, I'm going to let the light shine. I don't care if the church is filled or we've got one person in it. I'm preaching to Jesus Christ. When I shout, I'm shouting to the Lord. When you praise God, you're not praising God for folks around you. You're praising the Lord for he is God. Hallelujah. Amen. But you can only do it by faith. You see, the tasking of, of, a, of, of a church, the, the preaching of a church is to point you toward Christ, not to point you toward a system. I'm not here to give you five steps, 12 steps, seven steps, or two steps, or whatever. I'm here to point you toward Jesus Christ and let him work on you. The problem, that, another problem we run into is that the preacher becomes God. Pastor, what do I do? What do I say? How do I act? What choices do I make? I'm not here to be God for anybody. 
I'm here to point you to the Lord. He's the only one that is spotless and sinless and can do all things. The Lord is able to take your problem, my problem, and work it out. There is nothing that God cannot do, hallelujah, except fail. Amen. He never will fail. And that can only come about by faith. Last night, and I'm going to get into my sermon now. Last night, I was listening to our, our home church radio station, Sunlight Radio over the internet, and uh, at times there are songs that are come on that, that, man, they just percolate my blood. I mean, they just have my spiritual blood just up, just going. And the feet, before I know it, the feet get happy, and I'll just start just dancing and praising the Lord and believing God. I'm not talking about the boogie woogie. Hallelujah. I'm talking about dancing in the spirit. Glory to God. And last night, one of them songs came on. And brother... You knew that person that was singing had a relationship with Jesus Christ. You see, some folks got some good talent, nice talent, but they have no relationship with Jesus Christ. Oh, Elvis had a nice voice. He had no relationship with Jesus Christ. But this brother that was singing this song, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some good singing. There are some folks who can sing, and there are some folks who can sing. There's a difference. And this boy could sing. He put his head back and he reared back and brother, he got up on his hind legs and he sang. And before I knew it, I, boy, oh, I was having a good time in the room. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just praising God. And all of a sudden my door burst open. And my son came in the room like, oh, before you do that, Dad, let me know next time. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! My Lord is just not in church. But it's everywhere you go. In the grocery store, in the exchange, in the beauty parlor, in the schools, on the bus, when you're out walking, when hell has hit you with everything, it's still the light of God is shining. Praise the Lord. Let's define faith. His brother Wayne Jackson, what is faith? He said, 11th chapter of Hebrews is often been called the biblical hall of faith. Certainly it does present an informative discussion of what constitutes genuine belief. Note the following points. Faith is rational. By faith we understand that the universe is not self-existent. Rather, it was designed by the creator. The motion that one cannot be intelligent without being anti-religious is a myth propagated by those who hate God. Logic and faith are companions. Because you love the Lord, you're not a hick. You're, 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 you're not a throwaway. You're not an idiot. In fact, the redeemed are the only ones who do have some good sense. Because we don't have our sense anymore. We got the sense of the Lord. So faith is rational. That doesn't mean that God will not tell you to do something at times that makes no sense. But he said, trust me, and I will make a way. I was talking with uh, Cecilia a few days ago, and I was sharing something with her about what happened. This was a few years back. I was up at Capitolino, and uh, I was out walking by the fence going to the gymnasium, I believe, gymnasium, I believe. and as I was walking, I was just, you know, just, just walking. And I saw something green blowing on the ground toward me. And I, I thought, first thought was, oh, Lord, somebody dropped a dollar. So I rushed down, picked it up, and a $50. Not a soul in sight. And you don't go around and ask somebody they lost $50. Okay? Hallelujah. And I said, well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put it in my pocket. Walked a few feet further. Something green again was blowing my way. I said, no. Reached down, picked it up, another $50. Hallelujah. Amen. Mama didn't raise a complete fool, brother. Brother, I was walking like this from there on. <laughs> sure enough, something green started blowing my way again. Another $50. $150 in less than two minutes. How would you like to make that kind of money? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 
Needless to say, when you see me walking with my head down, brother, not because I have, have 